Just let me know when I'm supposed to sit here in silence so that I don't come in and say like something. Welcome everybody, I'm Jay Barino. What the fuck did you think I was going to play? It's Dead Space 3, but I'm going to be playing co-op with my friend Brett. Hello. Yes. Who, who was supposed to be sitting in silence at the beginning of this. Oh god, what happened to my game? I'm on a black screen, there we go, it's, it's fixed now. I just think complete transparency with your viewers is appropriate, and I don't want them to know that I'm sitting here, you know, in silence. Poor Brett's got a, a bit of a cold. So yeah, we're gonna be doing this co-op so that we can access all the content. I do plan on getting all the collectibles. I've got a little guide open to my right. Anyway, uh, I'm going to be playing on the hard difficulty. We're going to be playing on the hard difficulty because I think that the, the final difficulty level is meant for New Game Plus when you get all the goodies and shit. And uh, as with all the Dead Spaces, I think the last difficulty is just kind of absurd. There's always some weird caveat, like you can only save three times or some bullshit. Anyway, uh, I don't know when Brett can jump in the game. It might not be until we can control Isaac. So I'm going to go ahead and start... I'm going to create a public co-op campaign with New Game. We're going to sit and watch the introduction in silence... And then, we'll see if he can jump in on the prologue or not. So, hard, difficulty, co-op revive. Well, let's play with revive on. That sounds like something I'd want to do. Client. Wait a minute. I think, I think you're in it. Do you see this? I see it. Okay. You might want to mute me, though. Because <laughs> I could hear you twice. Oh, jeez. Um, mute. Okay, you're muted. Um, you might want to mute me, then. Yeah, I did that. Okay, start game now. So I suppose we're going to be... I don't know. Cool. All right. Great. I've never been more excited in my entire life. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I never know whether to talk during these because I'm afraid that someone else is going to start talking in the game and then I'm going to start talking over them or get cut off awkwardly. And now that I brought it up, it's just now I feel now I feel <laughs> awkward about it. Yeah, it's like everybody's thinking it now. It's like, why are you talking? But then, you know, you sit here in silence with nothing happening. It's like, why aren't you talking? <laughs> oh, there are two of us. All right. Cool. Oh. Jesus, Kaufman. This is hopeless. Alpha Niner, this is Whiskey 250. Come on. Alpha Niner, this is Whiskey 250. Serrano, do you read me? Tim! Oh, thank God! Did you find it? Find it? Doc, I'm not even sure what we're looking for. Get there! Follow the waypoint to thank you! I... I can't tell you anymore! Just get there! Do, do you hear me? You have to get there! What? Oh, oh, it's lost. What? Dang it! Follow the waypoint! We've been following it for three hours and ain't found squat. <laughs> This is neat how they, like, I, I was just playing the single player of this as, like, a casual playthrough, and that, like, my guy says the exact same thing, except now your guy's there who just, like, says extra shit. <laughs> Waypoint. Yeah, they're putting kind of a heavy emphasis on uh, co-op when they made this game. I think so. I'm gonna go over here because there's the very first artifact we can pick up over on the left wall here somewhere, so I'm gonna go pick that up. Really? That just seems unfair. Unfair? It just this ve seems like a very directly scripted moment oh, in the game. Into this mess. The yep. doc needs us, Sam. Come on, Coffin. It's even got credits. Soldiers, Christ. You don't even have a hold your rifle. Ouch. Okay, so I picked up the first artifact. You can read that if you want, viewers. Alrighty. So yeah, instead of me talking to myself like a weirdo, now we can talk to each other in the game, and. Uh, that's the most exciting thing in my entire life. Sometimes, I mean, I mean like our characters, but then also, um, <laughs> sometimes I realize that I'm just sitting in my room talking to myself and then feel really strange, so I'm really glad that we can talk to each other. Oh, no. Yeah, you can ch you can chime in all those, you know, those Justin quips like, uh, how about all these zombies? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I say that all the time. It's crazy. I really like your helmet. You've got, like, red eyes. It's really creepy. Thanks. It's the most exciting thing I've seen in my entire life. Hey, Doc, we found it. Claire's, Good. So I just... Can you get inside? <laughs> it's all sealed up. Look around. There must be a way. Okay, so I'm curious to know how this is going to work. So I'm going to smash this. Did you... Oh, great. Bullets. Now we can well, kill each other bullets. before we freeze to death. Yeah, I got some bullets, Maybe too. Maybe we can oh, shoot away. Okay, great. So everything that's looted is shared. I actually really like that, so we don't have to, like... That is good. Argue over yeah. who gets what, so... Ammo is... Saying. Scant in these games, am I correct? Yes, especially on the harder difficulties. Oh god, this is oh, graphic. God. 
Oh my god. <laughs> so there, oh my word. That fucker came right at me. Ah! Jesus, did these things have more health? Yeah, I got him. Good. You're looking for a cylinder. About half a meter long. Do you see it? Not this ammo. No, I don't see the cylinder, Doc. So these are new necromorphs, and I kind of find them to be more challenging than the normal ones. Because, like, they... Oh, well, never mind. That guy just died instantly. Uh, so, when you... What are you, what are you doing? <laughs> it looks like an ammo box. <laughs> when, you, uh, when you kill an enemy, you can stomp them, and you they drop ammunition. Oh, God, this guy. You know the whole, like, shoot their limbs and all that? Yeah. yeah. Oh, my word. Oh, Jesus. Wow, you just went ham on that motherfucker. Oh, there's one behind you. Oh, my word. Oh, my God. This game is graphic. We are terrible at this. <laughs> Can't get over it. Right. Oh, God. Why would we want to go up there? We just saw a man get pulled up. So, yeah, big, big, <laughs> huge feature added to Dead Space 3, Brett. Huge. There are ladders you can climb up now. I remember this being such a big, a big selling point for them. You know, it's... <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's open this shit, and here's the thing. Visceral vertical travel. <laughs> All right, there's the codex that I picked up. Got it. Doc, I got it. Did I mention that this is taking place in the past? We don't know who any of these people are. My name is Tim and this Earl Serrano guy wants us to pick up this canister that we don't know what it does. That there's some something involving the marker. Whoa. All right, so now we're Jim, repelling. Where are you? Hey, Doc, I'm hanging Jeez, from a cliff. This is like an action game. But I got whatever this is. The codex. It's the key to saving everything. I played all of Dead Space One and the Silo, and don't stop for anyone. An amount of Dead Space Two, and seems like quite the diversion. Yep, it's uh, definitely more action based for sure. With like the, the in-depth weapon crafting and stuff like that, it's it's certainly uh, oh god, fireball. It's Whoa. Certainly more of an action game. Very much like Uncharted. <laughs> Oh god. That definitely killed okay, then there might be. We have to roll through this thing. Oh god, to the left. What do we, what the roll to the left so we go through it. Okay. Jesus. I don't think I had much control over that nope. scenario. <laughs> I think you were the one in charge. Oh, you, did you just like move when I moved? You think? I was. I think so. I was trying to move, but it wasn't doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you take your helmet off in like sub-freezing temperatures? Gotta get the view. Ooh. Fine oh, young soldiers, every one of them. Oh my god. General Mahad, sir. Where's Dr. Serrano? Man's face is the sternest Earl I've ever Serrano, seen. Always the <laughs> wow. Oldest. Well, he said I should take this into the city. He said there's still time to stop it, sir. There's still time. We lost control. And now, for the love of Earth and the sovereign colonies, we've got to do what's right. You love the Earth, son. Your mom and dad. Nah. <laughs> yes, sir, of course. Who? Good. <laughs> Glad to hear that. Oh, oh! What? Wasn't that who you were just playing as? Yeah, this is the prologue chapter that takes 200 years, takes place 200 years before all the Isaac Clark stuff. Oh my god. So, they gave me a character. What happens to him? Oh! Wow. That's graphic. Yeah, so I don't think we're supposed to understand what the fuck is going on here, or what this cylinder thing is, but... Whatever. So that's the end of the prologue. I think after this cinematic we can go ahead and, and stop, and, and then we can start recording directly again for chapter one. Oh. Oh, God. Boy, that was strange. Brother. Yep. <laughs> Oh, hey, there's that thing. The Citadel? Is that what they call it? No, that's Mass Effect 3. Yeah, I thought there was some similarity, though. Yes. In names, but I guess not. 
What do they call that thing? A blimp? Isaac, I know you're there. <laughs> the the thing on, on the, the, the marker? Yeah. yeah. Fine. Oh, is that what it's called? I just called to say, I'm moving on. I have to. Just take care of yourself, okay? So it looks like Isaac and Ellie broke up, which is too bad because she was a slamming hottie. <laughs> That was a nice effect, but most of what was on his table is still there. <laughs> <laughs> is this scene, like, really blurry for you? No. Like, a lot of blur going on. You're gonna play as this guy. The red guy. You as Cork? Get the fuck off me! Answer me! Jim! Spoilers. Jeez. Who the hell are you? Lift him up. Up! have a lot of time, so I want to make this brief. I understand you're something of an expert on markers. You created one. <laughs> I didn't make shit. Your government made me. And you destroyed two, which is why we're here. We got a job for you. No. No! I'm done with that. You find somebody else for your suicide mission. We did. Before we lost contact with her, she told us to find you. Ellie. Where is she? What'd you do to her? Where is she? Unitologists have breached the inner concourse. We can't hold them! Captain, run out of time, gotta go! She's out there all alone, Isaac, and I can't help her unless you help me. Okay. Okay! Here. Let's get moving. So did you follow Carver as he walked out? Nope. Oh, okay, so you're still with, with Isaac here. Oh, yeah. What am I supposed to... Okay. Now I'm Carver. Okay. <laughs> what? I'm, like, in a random hallway. Yeah, that's because you walked oh. outside. Okay, we're on Chapter 1, so I'm going to go ahead and end the recording. And thanks, everyone, for watching. I hope you're enjoying the, the co-op playthrough, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.